Oh, that's it's a 10 pounder, dude. That's a monster trout right there. This definitely feels like something I've never done before, but I appreciate that, bro. Woo! You're getting way closer to this. Come on! I'm gonna hop down here in the crystal clear fleek. All right, Sky, right here. What do you have in here, man? We have a four weight, eight foot fly rod. And in this video, we're gonna teach one rod how to fly fish. I literally know zero, zero about fly fishing. I've never held a fly rod, never cast it, never put one together, don't own a single fly. I know absolutely nothing. Sky, I hope you're a good teacher, man, because you're gonna have to teach me everything from the ground up right. about fly fishing. Perfect. Good luck to you, man. Let's do it. So first step first, assembling the rod. Uh, we got the fly reel back in here, and fly rods are very sensitive. They can break easily. This is about $120. Okay, that's rod. very affordable, just like a bass rod. Yeah, and you can feel it. It's, it's lightweight. Oh, wow. Oh. Dude, if this was a bass rod, this is what, like, how long is it? Seven and a half feet or something? Eight feet. Eight feet. This would. This is significantly lighter than any bass rod. It feels like feels like I'm holding air. Yeah. That's crazy how sensitive and light that is. Super All, nice. But dirt. it must be very breakable. Absolutely. And usually a lot of fly rods you buy come with two tip sections. Okay. Because they're that easy to snap. But luckily, I've been using this for the past couple of years. Haven't snapped it yet. And also have landed some big fish. A big thing with fly fishing is a lot of guys get caught up in the gear and the intricacies of it. And it's definitely there. But the way I fly fish is I more so do it with a spin fisherman's perspective on it. And not everyone likes that because the fly fishing community is definitely very uh, <laughs> specific with how they like their stuff. But I sort of, I, I got into fly fishing actually fly fishing with my ugly stick spinning wow around. i put a fly reel on there i had really cheap line i was just i would catch trout on uh nymphs and whatever it wait took. you were fly fishing on an ugly stick that's how i that's got into crazy it. yeah Dude, those fly fishing elitists probably were probably saying some stuff if they if they saw that they didn't quite like it that much <laughs> but i gotta say i got into fly fishing from one of the coolest guys out there eugene from nova scotia he was in his 80s and fly fishing every day he taught me the art of the sport how to cast and just the basics that got me into it. From then on, I took it into my own hands and just hit the water. The biggest part about fly fishing, we'll get into the tips a little bit later, but time on the water is one of the most important aspects of it. And the more time you're out there, the more you kind of get a feel for the environment, the more fish you're gonna catch. It's not necessarily as much reading the book as you think. It's good to have knowledge on it, but you learn the most when you're out there. So let's get the reel on here. I'll bring my fly box out and we're gonna get down to the water, teach you guys some tips on fly fishing, also show one rod how to cast. So you can get it out there. Looking forward to it, and I've already learned a lot in these three minutes just listening to this guy, and I have a feeling I'm going to be learning quite a bit more over the course of this video. Guys, stay tuned. This one should be, uh, should be pretty fun. We're heading back down to the trout spot. You know, they stocked it with trout a couple hours ago. So, so this is how they released all the other... Those are, oh, oh, they're the trout! Looks like yeah. uh, there's going to be fish today for us to catch. I think there's definitely going to be fish in this area. <laughs> <laughs> that is actu actually insane. So if I can't catch trout out of here on a fly rod, I'm probably never going to catch fish on a fly rod. Yep. But how, diff much, how much more difficult is it to cast a fly rod than, you know, the conventional gear I'm used to fishing? How much, how much more skill is involved here? It's definitely, you need to take a lot more patience because a fly cast involves using the weight of the line okay. to cast the fly. So once you get the line in there, we haven't rigged it up yet, but once the line's in the guides, yep. you pull the line back and you use a technique that we'll show you guys where you pull the line, you create tension and use the weight of the line to cast the fly. We're gonna get over there and then start casting out. But I would say that it's it's a little bit more difficult, but once you get the knack for it, you can almost make more precise casts with a fly rod, gotcha. in my opinion. Gotcha, okay. So that right there explains a lot to me. You're casting the line, whereas when you're, you know, fishing with regular bait casting or spinning, you're casting the lure. That right there is a huge difference between the two. And it's really fun once you get into it because you can match the hatch like you can't do on a spinning rod and truly throw, truly present to the fish what they're feeding on in the given moment. So let's, uh, let's and, get it rigged. Yeah, and that is one thing I found very um, appealing about fly fishing is that a lot of uh, fly fishermen make their own flies. So it must really bring an aspect of uh, fulfillment or pride to actually catch a fish, especially a wild fish, if you happen to have access to them on your very own creation. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Catching a fish on a fly that you've either tied or represents whatever's in the ecosystem is one of the coolest ways to get connected to what's out here. And that's why I like fly fishing because it just feels like you're a part of the, the environment and the river. And once you're becoming one with a fish like that, that's the sense that I live for in fishing, like getting out here and using this sport to show me my place in nature mm -hmm. and just 
It's fly fishing's cool, man. That's well said, man. Absolutely. So what are we doing right here? We're just threading through the uh, the leader. Yep, just like any other rod you have, thread it through the guides, and um, get the fly line through. And I personally, I mean, if you guys are looking to get into fly fishing for your first time, you don't need anything too crazy. I don't use tapered leaders. I just what is a taper? I don't even know what a tapered leader is to be honest. What is that? It's a it's a leader that goes from very heavy line okay. into like. Uh, Fly fishing, they don't use pound line. They use okay. like 2X tippet. It's okay. like these different uh, measurements. So it goes into much lighter line of the tip. So it starts off heavy okay. and it's it's better for casting. It's okay. better for very precise fly fishing. So what you're saying is, it, oh, we're talking about this thick line right here, right? Uh, this line. The, the, oh, the, the, this line. The leader line. Oh, this is the uh, taper yep. or something. So are you not, what are you doing? Just use regular line? I use straight six pound trilene, which... Okay, guys, like so you're just using said, completely regular line, yep. whereas other fly fishermen might be using a unique... Yep fly fishing line in order to tie yeah. the what do you call it, the tippet or what are we calling that the leader but the leader, it's usually okay. um well what happens is you have the you have the leader which has okay. usually it's a tapered leader and it sometimes goes down into other line that you tie to leader that's, okay that's the tippet oh, okay gotcha. a lot of guys use a tapered leader maybe yeah. an eight foot leader uh -huh. and then right at the end they'll tie on oh, okay more line at the end so yeah. then they're not breaking their leader if they break off it's just the tippet. okay i see gotcha. it's, it's a technique to use but you guys are learning from a very rogue fly fisherman. I do it my way, yep. so I uh, I just use six pound line. It gets the job done. I mean, yeah, and that's probably what we're looking to do here. Uh, as anyone looking to get into it, like myself, I'm not looking to be a professional fly fisherman right off the bat. I'm just looking to get the very basics down and just try to be able to get some casting and hopefully catch a fish. And I think uh, Sky so far is doing an excellent job uh, teaching me in a very basic manner so that I can understand it without having getting too technical and getting too crazy with it right off the bat. Absolutely. And that's, that's what really got me into it. I, I just went out there with a spin fisherman mindset, just throwing whatever I can trying to catch fish. I have a lot of luck on streamers, anything that represents a bait fish. And a, this is a version of a streamer right here. It's a woolly bugger. Okay. This, well, that, that, that I have heard of that particular one. And I, I think I hear the black color is very popular for that, for this particular bait. Absolutely. I like the olive color. I've found just to show you guys how crazy it is here. Let's just take a second to look in the river right here. Woo. Look at this right here, guys, right in the river. You can literally see, Oh, that's, it's a 10 pounder, dude. That's a monster trout right there. Do you see that thing? Yeah, dude. That thing is insane. Now, are we going to have maybe a greater chance to catch it on the fly rod as opposed to what we've been using? Yeah, potentially. Sometimes the fish like the more subtle presentation of the fly. And I think one rod has a good chance of catching not only <laughs> his first trout ever on the fly, but who knows, it could be his personal best too. <laughs> this is insane. There's a huge one right there. You the, see that? Yeah, I just zoomed out, guys. You can see the monster trout. That guy's a... How big would you say that is right there? That, that thing's a monster. That's pushing seven, eight pounds. Once we get them landed, we'll be able to tell. Yeah, that's insane how big it is. Whoa, dude. Oh, and you see that oh, that, that's right a there? big one. All right, they're turning on, guys. We're going to get rigged up. I mean, there's like, a, a, how many trout are right here in front of us? A hundred? hundred. <laughs> I'm feeling, I mean, I just got to learn the technique, but I think I'll be able to catch one, hopefully. Absolutely. This should be a, this should be a fun time for sure. So when you get down to the water, you got to, Start pulling the line out of the reel. It's different than spin fishing because you don't just open the bale and throw it out there. You actually strip the line out to get more line. Okay. And each cast, you build it up on the back cast and the forward cast as there are huge fish blowing up in front of us. <laughs> and a lot of people, they either use their entire arm or just their wrist. I use a combination of both. It's really about preference. You pull the line back, create tension on the back cast like I'm doing right here. You pull it forward and it, the little flick in the tip of the rod gets the line going good. So you get a nice, Nice cast, you, uh, you keep extending the cast by stripping more line out. You gotta watch out for the trees behind you and then throw it out there. And the straighter the, the straighter the line is, the better. I actually missed that. I was so mesmerized by your technique. I missed where the, uh, where the fly went, but I can easily trace it oh, dude, looking dude. in the water. And I'm guessing there's probably a fish. Oh, you had to bite on the first cast. Oh, that That's insane. Funny. So, and you're not even worrying about, like, I guess fishing in a traditional trout setting, you'd probably want to cast upstream, I'm guessing. But since we're fishing, you know, there's hundreds of trout, it probably doesn't matter as much. Is that correct? Absolutely. I find that I, a lot of times with the fly, oh God, I'm all man. <laughs> just crush it. With the fly, I cast a lot of times across current. Okay, it's sometimes cross. hard to pick up enough speed with the fly. Oh my gosh, every cast I bite it. I'm carefully watching Sky with this technique because I'm going to have to do this in just a second. He, <clears throat> excuse me. He's making it look easy, but there's no way that casting is this easy unless you have hours or maybe even years of practice. Absolutely. And I'll give you guys another breakdown for the technique here. Oh, he's on. He's on. 
We got him. Th that's insane. That's absolutely we're insane. This fly, bro. And then once you get the hook set, it's it's very important to do a strip set. I don't think I did it right there, but you keep your rod tip low and you just strip the line to set the hook, and then you put the bend of the rod. Oh the yeah, that's good. That's good. Now this uh, technique, fly fish technique, looks like you're limited on casting distance. What's the farthest cast you can kind of make on a fly rod? Oh, uh, with this rod? Let's see. I'll, I'll do the farthest cast I could do right now. Probably about. It depends on how hard you. <laughs> oh my gosh! I mean, that's pretty far, dude. Let's that's pretty far. <laughs> that's insane. The amount of whip you're getting right here. That's actually nuts. That has to be. I mean, what, what are we looking at? 50 feet or something? I don't know. I would say close to 50 feet. Yeah. I used to play baseball, and that's about how far the pitcher's mount is from home base in Little League. So that's that's a per then you then so you guys know for that we're not lying. That's literally a 50 foot cast right there. There are different presentations when it comes to fly fishing. I'm fishing this woolly bugger more like a streamer, so I make it look like it's moving throughout the water column. Yep. Uh, another technique is nymphing, where you where you simply just drip the fly. Okay, gotcha. I've heard I've heard, I've heard I, th I think I've heard of these. Yeah. The nymphing, you kind of just like let it drift down the current, make it look like, oh, there he's on. Nice one. Oh, it's a nice one right here, dude. It's a good fish. They're hitting this fly almost better than this yeah. spin fishing gear. So, what I was doing there was I was stripping the line back yep. to make it look like the fly had some life to it. It was kind of jigging Woo! the current. Oh. And this rod looks really flexible, so I would say you're probably more likely to not lose a fish on the fly rod as opposed to another rod because it's so long and flexible, yeah? Absolutely. Once you get the bite and you have a good hook set, Chances are the fish is gonna stay on. Yep. I, I've lost way more fish in the spinning rod than the fly. And yeah, you got you got a thing pinned. You get a better fight out of these fish on the fly rod, which is nice. This is a very unique technique for sure. I right, guy's got him right first. here. Yep, white hands, good trout yep. handling. Land the first one of the day on the olive bully bugger. There we go. Beautiful, dude. Beautiful, Perfect. man. Nice. Let's get done. him right back in the water. Yep. And. Oh, a little, a little quick release on them. <laughs> right back into the current. And before one rod takes a few casts, I just want to say that when you're fly fishing, it's important to not fight the fish out too much. Okay. I see a lot of fly guys, because it's a longer rod, uh -huh. they fight the fish for, I mean, you could you could have a 24 inch rod for like 20 minutes. You bring it in, it's pretty oh, much dead. So it's, it's gonna important die from to yeah. bring them in quick and get them right back in the water. That's a great tip for conservation. Guy, wait, well, there's, something, there's something really small moving around. Right, 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 what the heck? It's something right, it's right behind you. It's right by your feet. It's something little. It's a little fish. It was not a trout. I just I didn't know what it was. Oh, wow, a little bait fish. Oh, you, yeah, you see it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, what was it? Or oh, was it a baby trout? I don't know. Wait, wait. Oh, no, I think, I think it swam away. But anyways, wow. <laughs> beside the point, Sky has given us some very good tips. Now I'm going to give it a shot to see, one, if I can get a successful cast into the water, and two, if I can uh, hopefully get something to bite my fly. I'm all about the technique of being smooth. Like you're not trying to be jerky. It's like just getting into the rhythm of the technique is what it looks like to me is the key to casting. I could be wrong though. You're totally correct. And a tip for any of you guys who are looking at practice fly casting, I would take the hook off, just have straight fly uh. line. Go in your backyard <laughs> or any, any field. One rod's gonna have a little bit more of a challenge now. He's in the true fly fishing environment, but I think he's got this. I think we can give him enough tips to get him casting right away and catch one. You know what, what, you, what was good about what he said? When I was watching him cast, especially the long length line, I was like, man, that lure's kind of getting close to his head a little bit. Like, not that close, but for a beginner like me, I think there's definitely a chance I can hook myself for the first time ever. I don't, I'm not going to let it happen. Obviously, I'm going to try not to, but I could see why someone fly fishing first time could just whip it back and whip it right into their head. I'm going to hop down here in the crystal clear creek. creek. All right. We're going to trade right here, man. Awesome. Thank you very much. Your first feeling of a nice four-way fly rod. How's it, it feel? I mean... Even though this rod is extremely long, it literally feels like I'm holding. I've never felt anything this light. Even my son's, you saw that like two foot dock demon, right? Yep. That feels heavier than this right here. I think it, it is too. It, it, it is probably is heavy. It's crazy how light and sensitive this is. Absolutely, def, completely different experience. Absolutely. So are you a lefty? Uh, I mean, I fish with both hands to be honest. So I, I don't know. I'm gonna see. Let's see. Let's see what feels natural to me. Awesome. So, okay. So I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna get a feel for it. Whip it. So this would be righty cast, like that, right? All right, and I'm gonna see if it, yeah, left. Before, before you use your hand and you do a sweeping motion, sort of like very flowing, like you were talking about. Like this kind of? Yep. So this might feel a little better. So I guess I'm gonna go for lefty then, huh? So, but we're, okay, okay. All right, let me know if I'm getting close to hooking myself, all right, man? I will. So I'm kind of just trying to, so am I using more arm or more wrist right here? 
right now you're using more of this, I think you're almost doing a good combination of both. It's really about getting a feel for it. It's yeah. The person. This definitely feels like something I've never done before, but yep. I think I'm safe. I don't think it's getting too close to my face, which I like, and I am getting it out a little bit, so. Yeah, I, it's looking good for your first <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not pretty, but you know, I think I think we get we're getting out there a little bit. Okay, I see. Yep. Yep. Now I got a little cast out there. I have no clue how to work the lure. If I'm just like going like this, am okay, I just? So I would recommend use your pointer finger. Oh, I had a bite. Okay. Yeah, I had a bite. That's so nuts. The hardest part might be. Oh, the fish. Okay. Okay. So okay. I'm trying to figure out so many things are going on through my head right now. I, I'm trying to figure everything out here. I'm kind of getting the casting down. Um, I'm trying to get that line straight while I cast it. But then as, as far as working the lure goes, I feel a little bit confused right now. But let's see if I can uh, apply your tips to get get a little bit of a uh, little bit of action into this wooly bugger. Absolutely. Your cast is looking real good for your first time ever throwing a fly. You know, just let it sit in that where the water turns from light to dark. That's a great yeah. pocket for casting. The trout this time of year, they like the fast moving water. You also like the pocket. So they're going to be stacked up right there. All you got to fall in is. Okay, okay. Wait until you get the bite and really jam it. Ah! <laughs> it's going to take a couple tries for sure. But let's see if I can at least try to keep the tension and get a smooth cast going right here. Use this guy's tips. You saw how aggressively they're going for it, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're definitely going for it. Try to get a good hook set in. Hold the rod tip a little yep. lower. Yep. Yep. Low. Okay. Got it. Yep. Yep. Ah! <laughs> Dude, there's so many in here. Uh, I'm definitely. I'm gonna get one, guys. I'm gonna get one right here. <sighs> okay. Because the rod is so long, it's so flexible. Yeah. You actually don't get more hook set power extending the rod, setting the hook. You get more power just keeping the rod straight. Okay. Uh, yeah. Keep oh. it lower and yep. Then don't even bend. Don't even pull up on the rod. Just oh, just pull a line. Pull a line? line oh, okay. Gotcha. That's what they All right. call a strip set. Okay. Oh, right. You were talking about strip. I remember that now. Yeah. Ah, it's, so, it's so hard not to just want to yank the rod up 20 feet in the air yeah. like I'm used to in bass fishing. That's something I'm still getting the hang of. It. I, I don't quite have it perfect on casting forward, but I feel like I'm getting the hang of it a little bit. Yeah, I'm, oh, still, I'm trying to strip. I tried to strip set right there. Oh, this, he, oh, I felt him. I felt him. Dang it, dude. You're getting way closer to this. Oh, come on! Oh, my God! Oh, that was so <laughs> oh this is this is really challenging for the hook set, though. I, I will I will tell you for a fact. This is very challenging hooking the fish with the fly rod. Casting is a challenge. Working the bait is a challenge. I mean, all this just feels completely different than what I'm used to. A whole another experience right here. Oh, Dan, I think I'm almost hooking my head right now. Oh, yeah, that was a little close. <laughs> yeah, it does feel like the casting is pretty efficient for accuracy. Definitely feels pretty efficient. And also for um, just keeping on persistent at the fish, you can cast time and time again. A lot quicker than opening the bale. Ah! That's how we hook him right there, baby. I right, keep the pressure. Oh, he's jumping. He's jumping. Okay, okay. So that you just pull the line and nice and easy to pull him in. Yep. First fly fish right here. I mean, he's not even fighting. I think we're good on this fight. I think you're gonna get him in, bro. Your first fish <laughs> I think ever on the fly. It's a little baby, but we'll take it. <laughs> Like, like awesome. it's not even moving. I'll land him for you. Yeah, appreciate that, bro. Woo! A little rainbow trout. Fish number one. Hands nice and wet. Perfect. Thank you, man. On the olive oil uh, bugger. That is the most famous fly fishing bait you can use. Hook them perfectly right inside of the mouth. It's fish number one. Whoa! Awesome. Oh, he's back there. Quick release. Appreciate the tip, bro. We'll go for one more. Let's go for one more. Alrighty. And then we're going to continue our adventure here. Nice little... Pit stop, learn something new here from my boy Sky. Absolutely. Now you're gonna have to get a fly rod and yeah. just start going out there and improving your skills. I'm gonna I wanna catch a, a bass on a fly rod. That feels like I think that would be a fun challenge. Oh a little topwater frog yep. or something. Yep. That'd be sweet. It's all about starting somewhere. One rod's just getting to fly fishing and he's already getting the hang of it pretty good, but just the more time you spend out on the water and the more that you just get immersed in your environment, the better you're gonna get at whatever you do. And that, that's for anything in fishing. So tell us, how do you do you feel more connected to the to the stream right now with the fly rod? Uh, yeah, I'm in the water, I'm fishing the line. It, it does feel. Oh, Got him, dude, nice. I'm connected. Dude, another one. <laughs> one rod is connected. There is a fish, literally connected. <laughs> I feel pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. And yeah, the way you can feel, you can fight the fish like this. It does, and then you want to make sure you don't overfight the fish. But it does feel 
very unique the way uh the way that you can actually fight these fish on such a light flexible rod and absolutely I can imagine if you caught something big how 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 interesting a fight that would be oh it, it's incredible i think there's also something awesome about throwing something that's so natural like a little bug that the fish yeah. would be feeding on in the river i mean this is the nice, most dude. match the hatch that you can get right here i'm just gonna win teamwork this guy I'll let you let him go Perfect. for me Boop. awesome Quick release it's gonna back there let him go let him go <sighs> another one all right we gotta go for the hat trick though before yes. we end the video obviously it's not particularly hard to catch trout out of uh, a stock stream like this with the wool with a wooly bugger but it just feels amazing to get a, to learn a new technique and to have it work out so quickly it just feels really really fun all right let's see if i get the cast here dude that that's looking pretty you're getting that side to side motion too yeah oh that that, that was almost thing is like almost there we're almost there we're almost there, not quite. We're getting there. I, I can see your cast coming in, coming to be how it, how it should. You're really, you're really getting it quick. Oh, Got him, nice. Oh, it's a bigger that's a better, one. That's a better one right here. All right, so we keep the pressure on. Yep. Ah. Yeah, that, that's a tricky part. Just keep it, keep stripping line in. Yep, okay, he's running to me. He's actually running. This is the biggest one of the day, I think. Yep, this, this is a nice Bro, fish. It's the biggest one for the fly fishing section, I should say. Whoa! Whoa. Oh no, we get top of the line. What do we do? What do we do? Just gotta land him real quick. Nice. <laughs> Dude, we got him. Thanks, man. So that does seem like a dangerous thing to happen right there. I let the uh, fish run into my line. Is that Totally. Is that kind of uh, something that can Oh, 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 oh quick oh, release. Go. He's out there. Alright, watch your hands. Yep, I think we're good. Yeah, big part about fly fishing is managing your line. That goes for casting. It also goes for when you're in the river. I can't tell you the amount of times I've stepped on the line. It got, got tangled around my boot, especially when you have a fish on. It's not easy. Yep. So uh, the, the more you can keep control of your line, both on the cast and when it's in the water like this, the less things like that will happen. It'll tangle around. Very good. All right, man. Big thank you on teaching me how to fly fish. I will definitely be doing more in the future. We're not going to spend too much more time here. We've got the whole afternoon and more adventures Absolutely. before we head out guys definitely be sure to check out sky's channel down below he's thank you so much he's been a very gracious host showing me a lot of his fishing holes in new jersey it's been a heck of a time and we've only been fishing not that long i can only imagine what he has in store for us for the rest of today and tomorrow oh yeah and i'm just so grateful to have been able to pass on my knowledge of fly fishing to one rod because that's what the sport's all about you learn something you share with your friends you get your friends into fishing and the more people that are connected to nature i just think the better the world is to be honest like your time on the water really makes you appreciate what's out here and now i know one rod's me back on the water with the fly rods so that's awesome that's a great mindset bro all right. right we're gonna continue guys thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video peace